Hello again, and welcome to another video of me opening up comic books on the heels of the last video, or maybe two videos ago, depending on what I've done since then. Um, that was the 27th anniversary of Midtown Comics, where I had a, it started off really shaky, but then it just exploded to a tremendous, uh, you know, order unboxing. This is from the uh, Nucadia days, and I'll explain that right after the intro. Okay, so, as I said, this order is, this is about uh, 30, 30, 31 books from the New Cadia Prime Days, which coincides with Amazon's Prime Days, and basically, it's nothing, nothing special other than the fact that it's a sale, or that it's a coupon that's good for everything. Normally with Nucadia, their coupons are only good for uh, books that are in stock 61 days or more. But every once in a while, they'll give you a promotion that's good on everything. Now, this was only 33%, which isn't that great compared to their three-day 50% sale or whenever they put stuff on 40% or 44%. But again, 33% off everything. That means if you find something that they just got in yesterday, it counts for the sale. So that's what I did. I got um, every one of these books was in stock for less than the 60 days. So for me, that's great because I didn't have to sit there and hope, oh, you know, can I hope that in 60 days, this will be in stock for me to get it on sale? So we're going to start getting to this. Um, there's no, no rhyme or reason to these orders. Um, they're basically just whatever I saw. Um, there's some copper. There's some uh, one bronze, maybe two bronze, uh, some early modern, and then some ultra modern. But they're all over the place. There's DC, there's um, Marvel, and the free books this time are some weird stuff that I'd never heard of before that I figured I'd try to go and uh, pick up and see what they're like. Some of these, they look like horror, so I'm not exactly sure um, what they are. They're from, I think they were from Eternity Comics. And maybe one of them was from Malibu. Um, I don't exactly remember because I'm not really into horror. Um, I know Dave from Future Past Collectibles. He's into a lot of horror. And I think there are some other guys that collect um, like Golden Age and EC and stuff like that who are into horror. I think Ricky at um, Swaggle Hoss also, um, and Ryan with uh, Automatic Comics, I think they, they've they from time to time picked up or mentioned something about uh, like horror books or early um, like early EC, um, Golden Age, stuff like that. But I figured these looked interesting. They were free, so why not? And once... Okay. The glue on here is really tight. Okay, so... and. All right, so here's the two free ones, which are the loose ones, not bag aborted, which sucks. But again, it's free, so you really can't complain too much. Um, so you see right there, <laughs> Puppet Master, Children of the Puppet Master from Eternity Comics. I've never heard of it. Um, I know that Puppet Master was a you know, horror movie, but I don't know about the Children of the Puppet Master, what that is. So... I don't know. <laughs> we'll see once we get into this stuff. Um, so there's that. Here's this. And then in this order, the free ones are in the middle. So we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take these over here. Take this here. Um, 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 um. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle this a little bit because something was in two different things the two different boxes they go together um okay so looks like everything is here which is good because i was i did get a little worried because on one of these orders i got an email saying you know we shipped your package and then like two hours later i got another another email that said we shipped your package and it was for the same order but it was for different shipping numbers. So I was like, oh crap. Usually when they do that, 
it means that um, a book was not available or multiple books were not available. And in that second order, um, I was like, okay, there's one really big, I guess, kind of big one. Um, but for me, it's something I've been looking for for a while. And I thought that that was it, but everything is here. So first we're going to go and go through. Okay, this is uh, Malibu Comics Necroscope. Number one. Honestly, I have no idea, but it looks like a pretty damn, pretty cool cover. And, you know, you can see right here, there's this one color breaking spine tick on this all black cover, but the rest of it is rather clean. So for a free book, um, Malibu was never that popular. I always liked the TV series um, Ultra Force, which was Malibu Comics. And I... You know, I just thought maybe it deserved a little bit better. <laughs> the, you know, the uh, Ultraverse unit, I guess the Ultraverse uh, itself. Um, so then we have the second one is Puppet Master in full color, number two from Eternity Comics. I'm guessing this is the actual Puppet Master series. Um, and then because this was listed as, this was, this confused me a little bit because it was listed as Puppet Master. It wasn't listed as Puppet Master, Children of the Puppet Master, number one. But, you know, whatever. So I figured maybe if I get two of them, I'll get one of each. Uh, because I got them on two separate orders. Um, but no, they're both the same one. So this is Puppet Master, Children of the Puppet Master, number one. Um, from Eternity Comics. So something new. Um, they're they're un unbagged, unboarded. So I could look into them and see. And they both, I mean, it literally says... At the bottom, you know, a new adventure based on the hit movie. So it's all revolve, e revolving around the Puppet Master movie. So getting into the meat and potatoes of this order, this unboxing, we have a run, I think. Um, I don't, not, not like a full series, but it's a... <laughs> it's a lot. I think this is uh, 10, how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually a run. I bought a run of Moon Knight, the 1980 series, from 13 through 22, straight through. So, um, okay, so we have, I'm not even going to put them in order. So we have 21, uh, 22. 21, 13, 14, 15, is this? Yes, 15. Um, I did not see. This is 16, 17, uh, 18, 19 and 20. These are all supposed to be very fine plus. Um, well, let's break it down. So 13, 14, and 15, I paid 655 each. Uh 16 through 22, I paid 482 each. And they're all supposed to be very fine. And this this is literally the the, the grading for every one of them. They're all supposed to be off-white, white, white um, pages, slight bend, tiny indentations. Corners are supposed to be sharp. Covers are supposed to be clean. Um, so, I really, all right, well, I put the knife away for some reason. I don't know why I did that. So, I'm going to quickly go through these. Um, maybe I'll do the big ones. Maybe I'll do 13, 14, and 15. And so those are the, the bigger um, books. Because we have like the first battle of with Daredevil, or first meeting of Daredevil. Um, all right, so this up here. So this one is 14. First meeting of Daredevil, or battle with Daredevil, whatever the hell the case may be. Um, again, it's supposed to be very fine. So I'm looking. 
does look to be in very good shape um, for the most part. Um, yeah, so. Uh, 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 oh. All right, so if we take a look at the spine, you can see it here. Here's a pretty big crease. Uh, here's a little bit of staple tear. Here's a couple of little ones. I mean, but for 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 six fifty five, these aren't bad uh, bad deals. If that's all that there is. Um, so backs are white. So <laughs> good thing is with a white back, you know. But you know, it shouldn't be. I mean. Yeah, it could be dirty, but you're not going to see very many spine ticks on the back. But um, this is the 14. Uh, yeah, this is the first stained glass. So they all look like they reflect color very nicely. They all look like they have the same spines. Um, you can see in here, you know, you've got one here, you've got one here. Um, little spine issues. But for the most part, they do look very clean. Um, trying to get this, there is a little bit of creasing on the back. Again, that's 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 why I say like with the back cover, it's hard to see it. Um, but I think I just had it. Yeah. So you can see it in this angle, it's a little bit of a of a um, of a crease, uh, a stacking crease. So you can see it along here, at this angle, there's a little bit of a stacking crease. Nothing major. Um, and then this is 15. Let's go to something with, all right, let's take this one. Let's check number 21 because that's got the black cover. Uh, dark black cover. So we'll see how good that is. But the backs of them seem nice and clean. The insides, page quality looks pretty good. Uh, for you know 1980 so that's what uh, 42 years old 40, 40, 40 years old please um so yeah so here's the spine on an all black well i shouldn't say all black but a black and white you know cover and the spine looks really good on this one so yeah, i'm not gonna get ahead of myself i'm not gonna compliment them or anything like that because you know who knows? This one right here, I don't even have to take the bag out. Uh, you see two color breaking ticks right there. Um, so, yeah, that's and this looks like it's a little bit uh, cut high on the top. You can see that there's not really much space um, after the indis, incin, whatever that, or the indicia is an in inside. This is just the, the whatever they call this, uh, the little box. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit short. As opposed, like you can see on this one, it's got a little bit more room from the top of the Marvel box to the, you know, to the top of the um, the edge of the front cover. But looking through most of these really quickly, here's another all black one. We'll take a look at this one. Um, because, I mean, and these for 482 not even $5 for these, um, uh, what do you call it? Whoa. Okay. Well, you can see right there, that's definitely not flat. Um, so that's a curl. And you can see on the... <laughs> yeah, you can see, let me get the bag, the board back and put it on the board. Yeah, you can see that. That's uh, a bit of a curl. Um, not too bad. It's not like it breaks color or anything. Um, yeah, it surprised me a little bit. Here's the spine. Spine looks very nice, except something right you can see right here in the uh, in the reflection. There's a it's a tick and a little crease there. So, um, but overall, very. Um, see if we could get the angle properly. You'll see all the creases in the spine. Oh, right. Okay, so right here you can see there's a crease, and then okay here. All up here, you can see all these creases. So they're all little creases, but they don't break color. So that's that's okay. Um, but I would not put that on the very fine plus. Um, you know, with all those creases, it could be a very fine plus. 
with a clean, you know, with a press. But as it is now, it's not really. Um, let's take uh, take a look at these two real quick because these are red covers, and one I, looks like one is red and yellow. And then we'll get into the other side of the order. So this is 19, all red cover. It looks a little bit of a, uh, I don't know. It looks like it might be a little bit of a miscut because you can see up here, the pages are sticking out from the back a little bit. Um, but you know that's not too big of an issue. The, the staples are on the side. So, you know, it is what it is. Again, this one has a little bit of a stacking curl um you can see here how it curls up a little flares up a little bit not not too big of a deal but you can see the spine pretty nice spine um you know you have something over here like two little things uh another one right here and here so you know very fine plus okay four, four spine ticks um we can deal with that and then here's one with some bright, bright colors. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing with some of these these Moon Knight books. Some of them they're crazy. I mean, look at all the purples and yellows and orange. Uh, so take a look at this spine. This one actually looks a lot better. You see by this a little bit of a little bit of a tear by the staple, and then you have a little bit of uh, some scratching over there. But like all, all in all, well, I shouldn't have spoke too soon. If you look at the top left corner over here, like this area, you'll see as I turn it, you'll see some creasing, like especially like in here, like right there. Yeah, you can see that right there, right there, right there, and over here. Yes, yeah, so we do have some creasing. Um, but again, all in all, not too terrible. Um, okay, so next up is a rarity I have a couple of these let me just get to it right off the bat we'll get them all together so we have a few rarities this one is uh, Superman number 170 from the 1987 series the second series and this is a rarity because newsstand you can see it does not say direct copy over here but this is a newsstand. This is from 2003. Am I, do I have it right in my head? Uh, July 2001. Okay. So by 2001, the number of newsstand editions have been right, straight down. Um, so having a newsstand from 2001 is great. Problem is, this is supposed to be a near mint minus, and you can see, you know, tiny indents on the front cover and all that. Well, this one, a couple of big dents, spine ticks, and here's some more scratching and spine ticks. So this one is definitely not near mint minus. Um, that's for damn sure. Uh, these two are a couple of better ones that I was hoping, I'm hoping are gonna be in good condition. Um, Daredevil from the 1998 series, also newsstand again. Oh wait, this says direct edition. Huh, okay, well, this is a lie too. This says newsstand, that says newsstand. But they actually are direct edition. So, what I thought I was getting... Oh, by the way, the Superman, I paid um, $2.99. These two, I paid $2.94. So, yeah, so I got... I mean, I'm not even going to open them, but yeah. I, I would say that, yeah, to me, this is cheating. This is me getting cheated. Um, just because if you're selling something and you're selling it as newsstand, it needs to be newsstand. Simple as that. I don't care what the pricing is, you know. Um, next up, we have a pair that go together always. 
Swamp Thing from the second series, the 82 series, the Alan Moore series, uh, number 49 and number 50. These two are supposed to each be very fine plus, and we'll get into this. And I paid the same price for each of them, um, I think. 375, yeah, I paid 375 for each of them. Um, again, they're supposed to both be very fine plus. And number 50 is a, ooh, this does not look good. Uh, that does not look good at all. Um, okay, so here's number 50. Uh, this is a dog ear, it's not missing. It's a dog ear. I am pulling it down now, but that's going to hurt because it's probably going to leave a crease that is not going to come out. Um, you can see it there. It's probably not going to get fully out because it was in the bag for however long in that condition. Um, other than that, it has some very white pages. The front cover is a little bit, I would assume that it's a little bit off cut because of how uh, small the spacing is at the top. Um, relative to this one, where you can see how much more of the DC logo is visible like in the page. Um, and you can see there's, where is it? Right here's a spine tick, color breaking. And that's about it. So um, I'm okay. I'm okay with that one. Uh, then we go to the 49. And this is what the first full and because I know I know something annual two is unofficial and then this is uh, official and cameo of the Justice League Dark or one of them is the the name was mentioned okay so forty nine which is this one is. Yeah, unofficial cameo appearance, uh, and then 50 is the first unofficial team-up, and then the death of uh, Giovanni Zatara, which I like Zatara. I thought he was, I always thought he was a cool character. Um, now, this one is also a near min minus, um, I'm sorry, very fine plus, and also has pretty white pages and nice color to it. The front cover, this one does not have a dog ear, which is nice. <laughs> Uh, it does have a little bit of creasing on it. Um, front cover looks pretty clean, as far as I can tell. Um, at a cursory glance, it does look like it has a stacking curl to it, which you can see. That's what this reflection is all the way through. That's like the stacking curl, um, or it's bent, where the light is ref reflecting, refracting off of it. So this is more of a very fine plus than, the, than 50 is. Um, so then we have... Two copies of Toxic Crusaders number one. Um, they're supposed to be near mint minus. And if you look at this one, near mint minus, if you look at the cover effects color and cover clean, yes and yes. I didn't even open this and look at the open edge side. You can see in the bag, you could see there's dust shadow or something. That's a better angle. You could see it. It is like an inch straight through and it's and it's even all the way through so that has got to be i don't even know what the hell that would be um let's take it out and see um these i paid 279 each for um okay so it doesn't feel like there's anything on it but and i think you can see here also yeah, I don't know. It looks like maybe I thought maybe there was something here. It could also be that the camera doesn't pick it up. That what the naked eye does. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of that on the spine side also. Um, looking at the inside cover, you can see on the edge, it's not on the inside cover, so it's not printed um, through here. So I don't know what that is. And it, like I said, it does look like it's uniform all the way through. But actually, if we look at the left side here, I don't know if 
you could see, like, yeah, see, it's very, uh, and this angle you could see, you can see there's a little something here in this white area. Um, that is the same, looks like the same as what's here, but you could see all the way from the top, all the way down, it's uniform, straight all the way down. So I don't know what that is, to be honest. Um, but I would not call that a near mint minus in that condition, to be honest. Um, that's something where I would be like, yeah, uh, that's like dirty or, you know, call it light staining or something in their language, but not clean and reflects cover. Sorry. Um, here's another one. Centerfold, very white pages. You can see the turtles, how bright they are against that white background. Uh, this one looks a little bit dirty on the back. Again, it's white, so it's kind of hard to tell, but um, a little bit of a miswrap because you can see that the, the black edge here is on the front and not, you know, on the side, on the spine itself. But other than that, from a cursory look at it, this would, I would be more inclined to call a Neiman Minus. Um, so, yeah, okay. Then we have... New Thunderbolts number nine. This is near mint. This is uh, first appearance of Photon when, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, first appear like first time or whatever Monica Rambo becomes Photon. Uh, new Thunderbolts. I think it goes Ms. Marvel, Photon, then. The pulsar um okay this is all right so this is yes Phot photon post captain marvel photon pulsar so this is when she becomes pulsar um this is like i said this is a very uh anemic minus um where i pay 271 for this one um not not as big as, as it was. It used to be very big. This is like my third copy, but you never know. You just never know what's going to happen. Um, okay, let's take a look at this and analyze this real quick. So looks looks like one, two, uh, three, and four. And then if we get the angle... If we can get the angle, we can see all the creasing. Um, always hard to pick up ang angular stuff, but there are creases throughout the whole backside of this. So I would not call this a near mint minus. Um, this is a 4K camera too. So, you know, it's like I said, no matter how good technology is, nothing will replace the human eye uh okay so look at the light look where the reflections are so as we're going on there you can start seeing the the creasing all the way down and all those creases and the, the color and the color some of the color breaking fix so not near mint minus here's one that i'm hoping is a good condition one this is cable number 21 um First appearance of, is it? Yes, first appearance of Hope Summers as an adult. So there's one where she's a baby, but I, I believe that there's one appearance of her as a baby, but this is uh, Hope Summers as an adult. So, um, okay, that scared the living hell out of me. So here's the back cover. See this, this white piece from the white, from the light? It goes all the way around, and you can see it on the front. So I thought that it was a tear. I was like, oh, my God. But it's just the cover coming around. So all in all, this one is not bad. Um, you have a crease down here. Uh, does not look to be color breaking. It does go through to the pages, as you can see there. Um, and this is supposed to also be the yeah, minus. This is supposed to be near mint, actually, not even minus. This is a full near mint. So, yeah, this is definitely not, but for the price, 
uh what did i pay for this 380 i paid so not not too bad for the price but again not near mint this one throwaway book i bought this by accident this is young allies number one i meant to buy young allies number five so this i'm not even gonna look at this i'm going to put right into my you know try to sell pile giveaway pile whatever that my little box it's going to be because i have zero interest in it whatsoever and yeah like i said i wanted um young allies number five i accidentally put number one in my cart by accident uh so i wasted um give me one second so that this doesn't go off again um what did i waste on this book i wasted 2061 cents on that book so you know what can you do um accidents happen next up is no x-men number 118 yeah 118 uh first appearance of the stepford cuckoos um clones of emma frost they were to a degree in that tv show that was on fox the gifted um basically five clones with the hive mind to act as one um, this, <laughs> all right, so this is supposed to be a near mint minus, and it says sharp corners, quarter inch crease, cover tears, no tears. Okay, no, there's no tears, but again, if we can get the right angle on this, you could see, and, and you can see it all through this back spine area. Um, see if we could get... It's so difficult with, the, with all this white. Um, but it is all creased. It's all wrinkled. Like somebody like wrinkled it up somewhere. Um, the good thing is there's no actual ticks or anything. It's all on the interior side of things. It's all like over here. Um, and you can see the spine for the most part. You know, we have a couple of ticks here. And just some, just some wear because it's black and it just doesn't. It looks like there's some color rub on there. Um, this I paid two seventy one, um, and actually there's I just felt it right there. There's dirt. Um, this this I don't think is dirt. I think that's yeah. So this stuff is part of the book. This right here is something's on the book itself so yeah this would not be a near mint minus for me um next up is x-men deadly genesis number one first appearance of the third summer's brother um vulcan um gabriel summers sorry lost uh <laughs> lost my train of thought there um yeah so we've got that Here's the spine. It's a little bit of a thicker quality cardstock. Got a little bit of a bindery issue up there. Uh, other than that, the spine itself looks pretty decent. The back, being that it's a darker color, looks pretty decent. I am, oh, I'm okay with this book. This book, I do not. Uh, let's see the. Can't tell. All right, see right there. All right, so there's a crease on the back corner. So it doesn't break color, but this is a thicker, card, almost like a cardstock. So, um, so something that's supposed to be a near mint minus. I guess I'm okay. Uh, for three dollars and sixty two cents, I'm okay with it. Uh, then the next one is. Firestorm, Fury of Firestorm from the 1982 first full series. Um, this is the first appearance of Weasel. Very fine condition. Or very fine plus. Sorry, I don't know how to read. Uh, this is... Got some nice white pages in it for a... This is 35, so this is late bronze, early copper. Um... Where's the year? I don't see the year. Uh, either way, late bronze, early copper, depending on when. Um, this is actually a, a pretty nice copy, to be honest. Uh, 
if I didn't say first appearance of Weasel, um, we saw him in Suicide... In, I don't even know which one it was. The Suicide Squad or Suicide Squad? Whichever the second movie was, uh, we saw him for about five minutes, and then he came back later and magically reappeared after he died for the whole movie. Um, and I think they said that he's going to be in the Creature Commandos. Next up is uh, Free Comic Book Day uh, New 52. This is the first appearance of Simon Baz. Um, if you remember, I got this from Midtown Comics. Uh, I got a few copies of Midtown Comics, and they were all damaged. Um, this is also happens to be a Midtown Comics uh, edition. This one, not so bad. Um, and especially with this kind of a... With this cover, it's very hard to tell what's a spine tick and what's not because you have the rain. This is all rain um, on the back cover, you know, from the back cover, because that's what they're showing you. This is, you know, Batman uh, Bane standing in the rain, and it's like so. In some of the books that they are not, you know, perfectly uh, aligned, some of that stuff comes to the front. So some of it looks like it's spine ticks, but they're actually part of the rain coming from, you know, from the back over to the front. This one happens to be a lot better. Um, I saw one spine tick, I think. And this, again, also has at the front cover, you can see a crease at the bottom right corner. Um, this is supposed to be a near mint with, as you can see here, tiny blunting under corners, which... That crease is not tiny blunting, but overall, not too bad. That one was 298. Then we go to the Bronze Age again. This is uh, my second copy of this. This is the Madam Xanadu one-shot. Uh, this is supposed to be a very fine. I paid 332 for this. Um, so... First, we start... Okay, so there's a bunch of creasing on the back. All right. It does have the... You know, inside, which is always important because if you do want to get this graded or anything um, and you don't have the pinup in there, it's like Wonder Man number one from the 1992 series or any of the 1980s um, Marvel, like the Spider-Man uh, 238s with the tattoos. Anything that's supposed to be in there that does not come with the book... If it's taken out, that will get a um, green label for being incomplete. Uh, this one, so we could see you have a big tick here. You have another one here. Um, and then a little bit of corner wear down there. On the back, we've got a few ticks up here. Um, not much going on. There's one up here, another one up here. A little bit of you know spine um, spine wear up there, and just a little bit here. Of this might be like overspray or something, but all in all, for a very fine and for you know three thirty two that I paid for this, I'm happy with that one. Then we have Black Knight uh, number one from the nineteen ninety series. Uh, this is the third time I've bought this book from them. Um, they've never come in very good. So here we can see a little bit the, the front cover um, is an underhang because you can see the, the pages. And you can also see, you can see a little bit, there's a crease up here. Um, not really a crease, but yeah, you can see like there, there's a little bit of a crease. Uh, the spine has always been a problem from with these, from what I've got. Uh, this one does not actually look too bad. The other ones I had, the spines were very worn. Um, so the wear was the issue, not so much like spine ticks. Um, but this one looks much better than any of the other two that I've gotten from uh, Nucadia so far. So this one, aside from that corner, and oh, okay. <laughs> Part for the course, there's another one down here. So that, and that goes through because you could see in the... Yeah, you can see right down there, there's, there's a chunk. You can see that it's pressed in there. And you can see there, so I've already pulled out a few pages and it's, and it's up here, you know, it goes through. So, you know, all in all for, what the hell did I say this was? I don't think I did. This is supposed to be a near mint minus. Uh, so 
a near mint minus, I, I could live with that. And I paid $1.99 for that. Then we've got two copies, two issues of Static from the original 1993 series, uh, number three and number seven. Nothing really there. Um, no keys or anything like that. I'm not even going to open them. But then the last one, oh, those two, I paid uh, two seventeen for number three and $2 even for number seven. And then the last one is um, Ultimate Fallout number one. I paid three seventy one, dollars And we're going to take a look at that one. I would have loved to find, I would have loved to have found number four for $3.71. But that's not my luck. So here's this copy. Black, all black, edges, edge work and everything. It looks pretty, pretty clean. Uh, but it's not. So you can see. One, two, three. And those are the staples. Okay. So three decent sized spine ticks on the front. Pretty clean. Got a little color rub or something by the staple. Um, a little bit of corner damage down there. All right. This was supposed to be a near mint with tiny blunting at the corners, not a crease like that. Um, but for 371, it's okay, I guess. Um, overall, pretty satisfied. Um, much better than a lot of my other things. This, this, I, this I don't like. Uh, again, just so you can see, direct copy, direct edition, direct edition. These were never, you can see, it's still cleared. You watched me, never even opened them, but they both say newsstand. So in the overall scheme of things, the book itself is worth the... Uh, the 294 that I paid for them. But when, again, when you say it's a newsstand copy and you ship somebody a direct copy, I mean, tell me in the comments, what would you do if you had gone on eBay and bought a book that advertised as, um, as a newsstand and they sent you a direct copy? That's all I have to say. And before you say, oh, well, you should have looked at pictures, a lot of these stores don't put pictures of every book on their sites. Um, some of them don't put pictures of anything on their site. Some of them, they just use stock images. So there's no way for me to look. And there's no way in hell anybody's going to take the time out. Uh, this was originally, I think it was like 420. Then it was 294 after the 33%. For a $4 book, no one's going to sit there and go dig through their warehouse to see what it is. If it was a $40 book or a $400 book, maybe. But, you know, let me know what you think. How would you have reacted on a book that says newsstand on the label, on the website, comes to you directly? I want to know how, you know, what your thoughts are, how you would react. If you would say something, I mean, honestly, I'm not going to say anything because I would, you know, I didn't buy it for the newsstand. I bought it for the book itself. But it was extra because I thought, you know, I thought it was extra because it was a newsstand. So either way, thanks for sticking for this whole, you know, 40 minute video or whatever. You know, comment on whatever else you might have seen me pull from here, and I'll see you in the next video.